In this video, we're going to look at how we can add and subtract fractions with different denominators. To do this, we're going to consider the problem 1 half plus 1 third. Let me think about this with some rectangles, where we're going to combine these rectangles together, or add them together to get some final amount of a rectangle that's shaded. First fraction's 1 half, so let's shade the left half of this first fraction. The next fraction being 1 third, let's shade the right third of this fraction. The problem we have here is we now have the right third shade and the left half shaded, but how much of the entire rectangle is shaded? It's hard to tell because all the pieces are cut to different sizes. To make this easier to do, we would rather have them all cut to the same size. What's interesting is if we cut them into sixth, where we have 3 sixth instead of 1 half, Cutting the middle rectangle also into sixth, we now have two of the sixths shaded. Whoops. Two sixths shaded. We now see that a total of one, two, three, four, five of the sixth are shaded. What we find is to add and subtract when the denominators are different is kind of difficult to do. Instead of doing it with different denominators, what we will do is we will find a common denominator. And what we will do is build up each fraction to be a common denominator by multiplying by any missing factors. If we build them up by multiplying by the missing factors so that we have a common denominator, we can then simply add the numerators and the problem becomes much easier. So let's try a few examples. In this problem, 11 tenths minus 3 fifths, we would want to identify the least common denominator or least common multiple of both 10 and 5. Using mental math, we see they both are divisible or both divide into 10 evenly. The 11 tenths already has that denominator we want. The 3 fifths does not, so what we need to do is build up the 5 by multiplying it by what's missing. 5 times what will give us 10? 5 times 2 gives us 10. So we'll multiply 2, top and bottom, numerator and denominator, so we stayed balanced. 3 times 2 is 6, 5 times 2 is 10, and we are now ready to subtract these. In the numerators, 11 minus 6 is 5, and in the denominator, keeping the denominator, we have 10. We can reduce the fraction by dividing by 5 to get our solution of 1 half. Let's try another example. In this problem, we have different denominators, so we'll identify the least common denominator of 8 and 6. Using mental math, we can see they both divide into 24. So what do we have to multiply the 8 by to get 24? 8 times 3 is 24. Multiplying by 3 in the numerator and denominator gives us 21 over 24. This should be a plus, sorry. Let's make this addition. Plus, 6 needs to be a 24, so it needs to be multiplied by 4 in the numerator and denominator. 5 times 4 is 20, over 6 times 4 is 24. We now have that common denominator we want, and we're ready to add the numerators. 21 plus 20 is 41, over the common denominator of 24. This fraction does not reduce, and so we have our final solution. To add fractions with different denominators, what we want to do is identify the least common multiple or least common denominator of both fractions, and then multiply those denominators on top and bottom to build up so we have a common denominator, so we can add the numerators and keep the denominator.